What to it do, it's your boy Drew Blue back at it again for a first reaction. I decided to do this one because fuck it. Nicola Frey, aka Augustus, came through with a uh, the new song called Let's. Go ahead and play it right now, see how it goes. And then, uh, if you're watching this, that means I posted it. Otherwise, I'm contemplating whether I should post this video or not because I really don't care to, to react to every song he drops. But. Let's just see how, if he made progress, if he changed anything, you know what I mean? So with that all being done, you know, said and done, I'm going to go ahead and cut the chat. You didn't know the track. Uh, to this new track called Let's. After we get through with this. Oh, man, Tori be killing that smooth and silky, man. Shit, let's get it. I might cut it off. <laughs> All right. sound like Goku when he was trying to go Super Saiyan the first time fighting Frieza. That's what I get the vibe right now. <laughs> super nigga, huh? Low-key, if, uh, if Dragon Ball, I don't even watch Super, I don't give a damn, but if they ever made a, a black skin Saiyan, I think this dude needs to voice him. Just the yells and everything. That's perfect. That's like on point dub. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Man, Nico, you crazy, man. I don't know why he's so adamant on doing this, man. I don't. <laughs> okay goku black we hear you right there man um i'm gonna put an end to that um i'll tell you this i was definitely not bored in a in a weird fashion i was entertained all right and i don't know what this dude's goal is what he's trying to do with this that he's trying to do right now i mean it's a far cry compared to his uh mc days when this dude was preaching not rapping preaching and just by the tone of his deep voice alone he already grasped grasped and captured your attention you know what i mean that's the type of dude that nico lafray is that's a dude that is recognizable and someone who stands out in his own, you know, um, in his own way, man. So I'm gonna say that for lack of better terms and better, you know, um, you know, words. But I think 
Nico just needs to kind of fucking find himself once more and understand that he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing right now with his music. And I'm going to tell you straight up, nigga, you fucking trash. All right? You trash. <laughs> like, I get it if you're trying to go for something like alternative rock, bruh, but you sorry as fuck right now, dude. Sorry. All right, I think you need that wake-up call. I try to be patient. I've, I've, called, I've done this many times, man, but you sorry as fuck, all right? You trash. <laughs> Get the shit the fuck out. You know, nigga, I just don't know what you're trying to do. <laughs> what are you doing, dog? Sound like a fucking flute, you know, like <laughs> like a fucking, like an elementary uh, fucking kid who's like uh, playing one of those old-fashioned fucking uh, flutes, man. Like where you had like four holes in that fucking, uh, in that, it's not even a flute. I forget what they call it. Uh, cheap ass shit. I remember I used to have that when I was in Catholic school, man. But fucking hey, that shit was like, like four or five holes. You could really play like four or five melodies. Nigga, that shit sounds more melodic than what you're doing. <laughs> that was like the most basic instrument. And you can't even be on touch melody with that. I catch you from time to time where I hear something going on with your falsetto. If you hold a certain note and you don't try to go exert yourself and rather kind of focus on accuracy. Same thing that I feel like Tori's doing nowadays too with his vocals. It's like you're trying too hard. You're trying to put power more power without having finesse in it. It's like you gotta have both. You gotta have finesse and power. It's like another DBZ reference. You know when Trunks and Vegeta went super, but they were slow as fuck. You know, sell obliterated both their asses. But Gohan found a way to be more powerful at the same time, have more speed. In fact, he didn't even lose speed, he gained. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm trying to get at. It's like, you gotta have quality in that. Just I was playing uh, York University because that shit clicked to me. I'm like, man. When a nigga who's got really sharp vocals just sits back and just takes control of the whole joint, just the tempo and him are, you know, intertwined in one. It's like you can do so much. And I'm not saying nigga isn't just like, you know what I mean? Like I'm talking about anybody, like anyone who really focuses on, you know, sharpening their vocals, man. So I'm going to put it out like that. Like, dog. You just, let's forget all this bullshit, all right, man? I mean, fuck it. My voice is hurting right now. But I'm going to tell you right now, uh, just chill. Chill with the singing shit, all right? Take it back to square one or, in fact, ground zero because that's really where you at right now. You need to hit ground zero to realize shit, man. And understand that the rap game was going to work. You just didn't have enough patience for it. All it needed was, a, you know, just consistency, man. You just needed one or two more records, bro. The Dare Demisha record, you never came through with that. You dropped that and maybe one more tape, like Troubled Soul 2. End of discussion. I think people going to really recognize you. I mean, you had Nipsey recognizing you, dog. I don't know if you met him in person, in person, whatever. But, I like, your profile may have been, you know, low-key, low profile. Like, not many people knew about you. But Nipsey was following you on Twitter. You know what I mean? Nipsey don't just follow anybody. So the fact that he was fucking with you, that should have been a fucking huge gold token for you. You know what I mean? Like, you can't fucking abandon the rap game. That's your fucking path, dog. You can't abandon what was given to you in the first place. That's your talent. That's your gift. You got the gift of gab, nigga. Why are you walking away from that shit? I don't understand that. You know what I mean? It's like niggas don't... Once again, let me drop the niggas people don't get it when it's like they got a talent don't fucking run away from it that's what you gotta do face the music and face it and be you at the end of the day god walks side by side with you so don't feel like as if you're gonna crush or crumble and even if you take an l nigga you can get your ass back up all right the biggest l's are our biggest lessons in life and once we learn that lesson we turn that l and convert it into a w it's gonna be the biggest w in your life so you got to understand that. It's not about not taking L's or avoiding that. Like You're going to take L's in life regardless, no matter what. It's about finding the strength to get back up and get to it, man. That's it. I'm done. About to hit the 10-minute mark. I'm done. It's your boy, Drew Blue, signing out. That's it. I'm going back into the darkness abyss. All right? Deuces.